We've known the problem for 50 years. Our lives are dependent on a solution. Many have vocalized the problem, but few have offered answers. Until now. We've launched an expedition to bring you into the world of zero energy. Where does pollution come from? Where do greenhouse gases come from? Now, what we want to do is not be dependent on foreign oil. What we'd want to do is not have to buy any oil. You can actually have a house that produces all the energy it uses, and therefore you can say it's a, a true zero energy house. Renewable energy, energy that doesn't pollute, is probably the greenest thing, the greenest single thing that you could possibly do. We would be completely energy independent. The dependency would end because we would be powering our buildings and our homes differently. Buildings and houses are responsible for 48% of greenhouse gases. Cars are only responsible for 12. Clearly, the answer to our energy problem isn't only in our driveways. We've been using the atmosphere as kind of a garbage dump um, and squandering this vast wealth of, of fossil fuels and natural resources that Earth's built up over millions of years. And, and in the process, we're, uh, you know, probably going to end up raising the temperature of the planet by about 13 degrees by the end of the century. So it's a really serious problem. And when you look at um, how we account for that on a personal basis, the average American is responsible for about 28 tons of greenhouse gas emissions a year. Hear from scientists, doctors, and engineers about how zero energy will change the way we live. We can build a home that is a zero energy home today and it doesn't have to break the bank if you do it right. People just don't know that they can conserve and they can achieve zero energy without the knowledge they don't even know to take the first step. Imagine building a 2250 square foot house with solar for hundred dollars square foot. It's awesome. We're not trying to make it quirky. We're not trying to make it that, that it's, a, it's an earth burned home or it's this you know, Jetson style home. We still want to make a home that people will enjoy living in, that will enjoy um, the amenities that homes have and, and that, that kind of investment. They want certain qualities in a home, so they want to live a certain way. So we don't, we don't want to distort that. We don't want to change that. But what you have to do to make it zero energy, you have to look at all the components, all the building materials that go into that house and look at new alternatives of energy efficiency materials to ultimately get to zero energy. Because you can make any home zero energy if you put enough solar panels on the roof. But solar panels are so expensive, even though there's tax credits and, and, and grants you can get and, and various ways to finance, but they're still expensive. So if we can do more with less windows, bigger overhangs, better wall systems, better insulation in the attic, spray foam, higher efficiency air conditioning units, all those components um, make, make the solar panels more affordable to make it zero energy. Watch as we explore how the most impressive zero energy structures use technology from the beginning of time to the latest in innovation. Is a zero energy home really possible? Yes, it is. I'm sitting in a zero energy home today. You, you can see uh, <clears throat> how, how it actually affects the energy consumption of the house. Um, for instance, the windows, you know, you could put in a single glazed window and, and have the energy use and how much harder that's going to make the HVAC system work, uh, the insulation and, and how all that compares together. And then you can compare that with an upgraded window and then you can see the differences and see, well, well that's, a, that's a huge difference there. So this is the way we want to go. We want to spend our money on better windows and better insulation. And we're just at the infancy uh, of this type of a marketplace. Uh, I like to think back of um, Thomas Edison, you know, when he first uh, was able to bring the light bulb to the masses, he never knew probably how far it would go. Probably could never fathom what we see today as everyday you know, use of, of electricity. And I think that's where we're at today. You know, um, we, we can't even picture what solar will look like 100 years from now. What I do know is it's gonna definitely become a, a major factor in the delivery of energy for our country and, and for the entire world. Discover how the latest in microenergy devices are the future of America's home building as we follow the construction of a zero energy home 
from the ground up. Zero Energy Homes is brought here by a grant from the state of Florida. The most important thing about it is there'll be no electric bills for these homes. They are void of fossil fuel. And now more than ever, that's the most important thing that we can all do for our Florida and our country. It doesn't so much matter who's in the White House or who's controlling Congress. Yeah, these are just smart decisions that can be made oftentimes at the state and the local level. And you know, that's kind of where we're waging the green war. It's really all very, very local. Um, and so while we'd love to see greater you know, activity on the national policy side, um, there's a lot of great stuff happening at the local level that's starting to catalyze this. The future is zero energy and that we will be living in a zero energy America. We need to conserve water, electricity, everything that we can in this country and because of people like you we're able to do that and today is a historic day and it will get better and better. It's not just the sun that's going to do it, it's the materials. It's not just the materials and the sun that's going to do it, but it's how in essence you design on a piece of property to maximize the power of the sun and the products that are being used. Today we're going to pour the foundation of Zero Energy America. This is the day we change our priorities, we make new commitments. On behalf of the state of Florida and Mark Grunberg Homes, we lay this foundation for the future. The momentum that we've, that we've been able to, to, to get going with this thing has been terrific. We now have the sponsor list of 20 plus sponsors from big, big names to little companies. We got great support from, from Kohler, alternative energy technologies that sell a Hable certainty. Goodwin Hard Pine. From there, Whirlpool came in as well. So many of the companies that are involved have a great uh, stewardship story to tell. They're doing the right things in terms of reducing their own carbon footprint. I mean, houses are being designed tighter than ever before. I mean, due to the fact that they're being, trying to be made as energy efficient as possible, I mean, energy costs are continuing to go up. We're dealing with four different theaters. Energy conservation, water conservation, environmental stewardship, and health. When you look at the, the uh, materials placed on the interior of the home, it's more critical than ever to have materials that are on the interior of the home, I mean, be as healthy as possible so you don't have the VOC emissions, formaldehyde emissions, etc., because they're not the places for them to go in the home now that there were maybe years ago. Formaldehyde just this year is now officially mm -hmm. posted as a carcinogen by CDC. It's the first year that's happened. Uh, VOCs is something that every mom and dad has heard. They read about it, they go to the paint store, they look at no VOC, low VOC, they get confused, they want to avoid the health issues that they don't truly understand, but that are associated with carbon products. Um, you just ask a few extra questions about the sourcing of something, and you'll either be shocked or you'll be really comforted. And our, our answers are always comforting answers, but. The more people start looking into, um, where does that cabinet come from? Oh, it comes from China. Oh, it's 17,000 miles away. Mm. Okay, what's it made of? Well, they can't tell you. Uh, can't really explain if the wood is legal. Can't really explain what they use to glue it together. And uh, the good news is that the public is more interested now than ever in, in answering and asking those kind of questions. And our pitch is not the word green so much. It's, it's healthy and responsible. What we've done that nobody else has done, honestly, is then go to the lab and say, okay, Green Guard, you're known for indoor air quality testing. Let's throw cabinets at you. And let's, let's, we do not qualify for Green Guard if we don't pass. It's not a pay to play, it's third party. You have to meet their children in school standard. And at this point, we're the only residential cabinet manufacturer that's done that. Imagine your world with no carbon footprint, no electricity bill no impact on the planet around us. We're not talking about uh, futuristic materials and products. These are things that are available now. Zero energy homes are actually possible in all climate regions. Zero energy homes were, are real, are possible, they're here, they're today. We need to take the time and show people how easy it can be and how it's going to mean cash in their pocket and we'll get a lot of people on board. You've got governments out there that are trying to figure out a way to support renewable energy, sustainable strategies, um, even in places where, you know, outside of California where they may not have the same kind of mandates, they're realizing, look, there are jobs on the line. There's jobs that are available if you think differently. I wanted to tell the world, we don't have to pollute. 
there are great alternatives and the technology is here it's today and it can be done. People who say we don't need to hurry, I don't think I've thought about it very much. Besides, why do you want to sit around? Let's get her done. Let's get going. Let's invest in it. It's time to begin our journey into Zero Energy America.